Are you an avid book reader or trying to become one? In either case, you might be interested in what I have to share. I read printed books and ebooks and listen to audiobooks. I keep my book library organized and track book recommendations to facilitate deciding what book I want to read next. I'll show you what the process and system look like currently and I hope this will give you some ideas to try. I'll also share how I got to where I am now. You might be interested in knowing what I've tried before and how it has evolved. Let me explain my needs and the parts of the process and system that fulfill them. I often purchase books I know I'll read, but I may not know when. It could be months or years later. I don't want to buy a book I already have. I want to know what formats of books I have, such as print, ebooks, or audiobook, because that makes it easier for me to find them. Some books I do have in more than one format. I want to know the books I do not own yet in case I'm at a bookstore, virtually or physically. I want to know what books I have gifted, what books I have read, and which ones I have not. I want to know what books I'm reading so it's easy for me to add some book notes. I want to know which books I finished reading in the current year and which are my favorites so I can prepare for my favorites of the year blog posts. I want to keep track of books I need to review by reading my notes and highlights. I keep an eye on books I'm considering reading next. And if that list is empty, I may check the top recommendations. Recommendations may come from friends or co-workers or maybe through a recommendation found in a book that I'm enjoying. When people ask me what my favorite books are, I don't want to rely on what comes to mind first. I want to give them a better informed answer. This list shows all books I tagged as favorites and how many times I've read them. Last but not least, I want to find a book and write or read my notes. I'll make a separate video to talk about that part of the process. Oh, there's one more thing. I need this visualization to illustrate my connections to those books in my brain. I map links to those notes here for easy access and also as a reminder of what queries I have or most importantly, why I have them. Let me show how this system currently works. This is not a step-by-step how-to video. There are great tutorials on YouTube and I'll provide links to other people's videos that help me get my system going. When I buy a book or I get a new recommendation, I create a new book note. From Sergio's video uh, got me started getting the book search plugin and initial book note template set up. I've recently heard that Seth Godin has released a new book and I'm interested in reading it. So let's add it here. This is Strategy, is the name of the book. It found too many results. I can type Seth to refine the filter. Notice the information that gets populated for me. There's a link to the book cover that makes the note look nice. And for my template, my note template, check the link in the description. Also, look for other people's templates for more inspiration. I know I do. I got this book recommendation from James Clear's newsletter, so I'll add that here. Notice I use double quotes so the local graph can show links properly. When I buy the book, I update the format, for example, paperback. I write down why I'd consider reading this book. This is a topic that has come up at meeting XYZ. I'd link to that meeting's notes. I change the status when I start reading the book. And then again, when I finish it. I also add the date. I've mentioned queries before. All of these lists of books we see are created dynamically. They are the results of queries created using the data view plugin for Obsidian. Let's have a look at a few of my queries. Most of them are simply variations of how I'm filtering the lists and showing the results. 
This is the note I use the most, which shows the results of many individual queries and the code behind them. DataView offers two options to write queries, DataView Query Language and JavaScript. I've been a programmer for a long time, so I write my queries in JavaScript. DataView's documentation is pretty good, and there are plenty of videos on YouTube for you to learn it well. Check the link in the description to get all the queries that I use. And these are the main pieces of the process and system. Now, how did I get here? In 2016, I started to pay more attention to what books I had, which ones I had read or not, and which ones I was reading. I was putting all of my PDF ebooks in Evernote which allowed me to search through all of them. I was tagging books and using saved searches to find them quickly. In 2020, I noticed that my book library was growing. Since I consume books in all formats, it was becoming difficult to find them in my mixed digital and physical libraries, so I kept refining my system. Around that time, I tracked recommendations by adding the books to a wish list on Amazon and noting the source. In 2022, two years ago, as of this recording, I started a gradual migration from Evernote to Obsidian. And now we're caught up. Are you an avid reader? What do your process and system look like? Let me know. I'm always looking for new perspectives on how to do this.